the human being is motion, basically. And uh, is motion because it deals uh, most of the time with expression. And uh, he uses movement to express himself, to express friendship, for instance, uh, to express love, to express love since the very first moment. And uh, he used movement to express love till the oldest ages. Uh, and in between, movement also is used to achieve the highest performances uh, and also some special performances that are quite important for sustaining life. So, I do want to interest you in studying movement. Uh, once I had a dream that <laughs> in our university we could contribute to enhance motion evolution. And uh, thinking about this uh, uh, aim, uh, we decided to take uh, to take a glance on biology and to experience dealing with biology through the laws of mechanics. So we uh, bring to biomechanics. And what is biomechanics? Biomechanics is simply the study of biology through the laws of mechanics. So we decided to create a biomechanics lab at the University of Porto, a biomechanics lab that gathers the efforts of the University of Porto from 10 out of the 14 faculties and three interface institutes on the area of biomechanics. So we produce an incredible critical mass around biomechanics, which is quite interesting. It's a small lab, a small space, but we have in the center of the lab an instrumented floor with six force plates which is a kind of a luxury uh, equipment, and many cameras that allow us to capture real-time movement, complex movement, 3D in real time. And we have a lot of other uh, kind of equipments, relatively sophisticated. So we are able to measure the shape of movement, inclusively in the water, and in between the water and air, we are able to measure forces inclusively, intrusively, I mean, inside the tendons of living uh, uh, systems. And we can measure uh, muscle activity through electromyography, even in the water, and express the most active zones of the body through thermography. This is more or less what we do in that laboratory. So we studied the movement since the very first beginning. What kind of slide to bring here? But this is very nice because this, is, this was a nice study conducted, not in our lab, but we accept volunteers, uh, concerning the stress over the hip replacement during sexual activity. Uh, but we can go further and we can study our birth, the stress on the mama and the stress over the baby. This is a study from this faculty, from the group of Renat Natal George, an amazing study with a lot of prizes, a guy that works at our lab also. So we can also study plastimography, small movements of babies. We can rebuild and study the rebuilding process of faces and expressions. We can study more prosaic things like, for instance, normal gait, uh, and define normal patterns of gait at the lab. And then we can jump into more, sorry with this, uh, we can jump into more, uh, let's say, pathological situations. Here we can see a very a hyper-extended knee on the right-hand side of this, of this guy. So we can then, with forces and kinematics, we can go further and try some essays of inverse dynamics and understand then 
how each muscle is functioning during a given activity. Okay? And then understand perfectly the load of a given task and the load of a given exercise, for instance. So then we can move into top performance, like Naid Gom's top performances and stresses. And uh, we can also understand the stress of some impacts like this one or other impacts like this one. And then you can imagine that afterwards, a goalkeeper needs to defend this uh, ball. So we, we, we need to understand also the activity of the goalkeeper, the forces involved to produce such a kinematics, such a movement that allow the goalkeeper to defend this, uh, uh, this uh, shot. And we, we can go further and understand the direction of uh, the eyes, the tension focus during the activity, and then understand precision during some complex movements. This is quite, uh, quite interesting uh, indeed. And look, we can appreciate also some artistic. And, and, the, mod and the model here, we almost hear the violin player. And uh, then we can uh, analyze expression movements, dancing for instance, or swimming both in water and over water at the same time, capturing real time. And furthermore, we can now understand the hydrodynamic forces in a movement, a therapeutic movement in the water, and analyze, again, through inverse dynamics, what happens in each one of the joints. It's indeed amazing what we can achieve in this field. In this slide, you can see that thermographically, we can compare two actions, a, swimming, a swimmer swimming front crawl and backstroke with different energy costs because they are swam at the same velocity and, of course, they have two different uh, thermic signatures because in backstroke, the energy expenditure is larger and so the activation of the body is also uh, larger. Uh, we recently went through surf projects. This is a very interesting project because we start surfing in the lab, not in the waves. But uh, we could measure very interesting things related to surf. Um, and uh, yeah, so then we jump to the pool, but the pool transformed into a lab, as you can see. So we can measure force, we can measure velocity, we can measure uh, whatever, we can measure uh, energy expenditure, special maneuvers, we can also assess fatigue. Uh, here we are measuring energy expenditure through the measurement of uh, oxygen consumption. Uh, but uh, we can also jump to the water, and we worked with Sebastian Stautner, the guy that beat McNamara in the big waves of Nazareth, he asked us to, to, to analyze him at the lab, mimetizing what he's doing in the waves. It is projected in the wall of the lab, the image of uh, himself riding the wave. And uh, we were measuring both kinematics and the forces associated, and also the muscular activity of uh, Sebastian during these, uh, during these maneuvers. Of course, we are at the lab, OK? So here we can see the muscle activity combined with the other. But then we went to Nazare with an instrumented board. We instrumented the board of Sebastian, measuring a lot of things, inclusively 3D, the flow uh, pattern below the, 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 the board. It, this was really, really amazing, and uh, the outcomes were very, very appreciated, uh, internationally uh, speaking. So, uh, for instance, we can use this kind of technology to uh, assess uh, ergonomics of, uh, uh, of a, a dentist. And um, uh, I suppose we have a very, yeah, the dentist here. Sorry. Uh, we are measuring the different positions of the, of the dentist during the daily activity, professional activity. And uh, OK, we have a very re realistic 3D model. Eh? Uh, and this, this, this model. Is, um, 
is indeed so perfect. Uh, something happened here. Let us wait some seconds. Uh, because the model should appear again. Oh, here it is. So we have the model, and the model is, is quite good. So good that we can try to interact with the model, like saying, hello, model. <laughs> oh, are you seated? Can you stand up, please? Fantastic model. You are so friendly. Model, I suppose you are a beautiful model. Can you come to the stage? Please. Hello, model. <laughs> Thank you. Are you able to dance a little bit for us? So I'm doing no, nothing more here. Thank you very much. <laughs>